So hi Fraser, it's uh, nice to meet you. Um, thanks for coming along to yeah. uh, Monday Motivation yesterday. Mm -hmm. And here we are on yeah. the top of Waverley Gate, just uh, having a little chat. Mm -hmm. So do you want to uh, introduce yourself, just to let people know who you are yeah. and what you're up to? Okay, cool, yeah, all right. Yeah, no, really uh, very grateful. Thank you very much for bringing me last night. Um, my name is Fraser Morrison, I'm from Singapore and I'm coming to Edinburgh for two months um, with a view to starting my business in Edinburgh. Um, I run a sales consultancy slant sales training business where we boot camp people through three months of learning and learning how to build models and sales and develop their sales models. So yesterday was a wonderful opportunity and I really, really did enjoy uh, And I actually, and I said to you, I think it was the best networking event I've ever been to and I've been to a lot of networking events. It was really it was personal, it was intimate, um, the way you navigate through the dialogue with all of the different startups was very sensitive and I really liked the way you did it. I thought it was really brilliant, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And you are an experienced entrepreneur yourself? I don't know about that, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I think like everybody, I'm my fourth or fifth version of this year. So okay. I started my business, I started in my entrepreneur world about five years ago. I created a video training platform and that didn't really work very well. Um, I took it to market, but I found that the systemization of how sales work was very dysfunctional and they weren't able to put the model in. So I then started doing consultancy and I've been building models for clients such as Chubb and some larger businesses over the last sort of four or five years. And then, um, and then I decided that it wasn't a scalable model. So I then created a concept of boot camping salespeople through a three month window where we own them for three months. Um, where we really create change in them because we were finding that we were implementing models and it wasn't being followed through the way we really wanted yeah so that's sort of where i've ended up so now i'm in my fourth iteration of a business it's a boot camp model and at the end you've got a very um you've got a very nice structure for your sales model at the end where we are going with you on that journey okay and uh what kind of what kind of companies do you like to work with or? so we our, our philosophy in selling is that a sale it, it should be defined as when you help your customers do what they do better. So it's not, it's not about selling to make money. Uh, money is a byproduct of doing a good job for customers. So we work very nicely in what we call the trust economy. So we like consultancy firms, um, businesses that are based around trust and building relationships. But we also like startups. Um, startups, if you think about it logically, a startup is um, it's a trust-based economy because you're People are investing in a startup, people are buying products from a startup based on the philosophy that the founder and the team are going to build and create something good, well put together, and it's going to last. Yeah? So it's a gamble. Um, so it comes back to a trust-based sale at the end of the day. Okay, cool. And the, so what do you hope to uh, achieve here in Edinburgh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting you asked that. So I, I mean, I'm super glad I met you last night. It was really cool. You're right. You know, it was, uh, I was quite nervous when I'm coming over here because I, I really only have one contact here. That's my brother that lives in Edinburgh. So I want to build a database here. I want to build a batch of contacts. Um, you know, from a from a client basis, I'd like to bring five new clients in within the next two months. So it's not too optimistic. I've kept it nice and conservative. I want to build up some partnerships. Um, good solid partnerships, a good database, and maybe we end up with one or two salespeople here um, and navigate through the following period built on the foundation of what's happened this two months. Okay, great. And what are the, um, the, the common mistakes you see startup founders making? Oh. Um, look, the number one mistake is that founder based selling can't be transferred to salespeople. So a founder can't teach a salesperson to have the enthusiasm and the technical knowledge that they have. Yeah? So that's the number one problem that founders have when they're dealing um, with building a sales model. Number two is founders are expert at what they do. Um, building a sales team, training salespeople, managing them, getting CRM, looking at metrics, looking at systems, process, lead generation, brand, marketing is a very technical thing. So you need a very technical model to sustain scale, yeah? So you can't scale by saying, right, he's trained as a salesperson. I don't really know how he was trained, but I'm, I'm gonna scale my business up in the back of that person, yeah? So what you've gotta have is a very, very clear cut black and white model. Most startups don't have that. So they go through three or four iterations of employing salespeople and sales managers, and they, they're well-funded, so they bring an enterprise sales manager in but he cannot function or she cannot function in this environment. It's not easy to go from enterprise into a startup. Yeah, it's a different world where everybody's got to get stuck into everything. Yeah. So 
And how do the two worlds differ? So enterprise, enterprise, you've got a full support system, you've got structure, you've got leads, you've got a client database, you've got a whole world there that works beautifully, right? And if I'm a sales manager or a sales director, I've got this whole thing going on, right? A good working CRM. Whereas I come into a startup, usually CRM is profoundly broken because it's been built wrong. There's no sales model. The founder tells you that it's really easy to sell, shows you a product that's super exciting and you go, well, you know, I can sell this. And of course, that's not how it works. Yeah? You've got to get back to basics. You've got to go networking events. You've got to get referrals. You've got to do lead gen. And all of these basic things that really an enterprise are not doing that effectively nowadays. Yeah? So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Usually, usually enterprises working within an existing database or they've got um, a lead source coming in you know, from demand, you know, generated leads. Yeah? So okay, you know, that's uh, working that way. Yeah? So when is your next boot camp starting? Um, I've got a boot camp starting on the 7th of May. Um, and that's going to run for three months. Um, and then I've got another one starting probably in about the 15th of June. Um, and we run one every month for three months. Yeah. And how often do these meet? Is it once a week or? No, so, so it's all done online. It's done in the cloud. We use a technology called Zoom.us. So it's very, very sophisticated. It gives breakout, yeah, no, Zoom's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it gives you breakout rooms. It gives you whiteboarding. It gives you screen sharing. I mean, I mean, I, um, you know, our, our head of learning is a professor, well, not a PhD, uh, specializes in pedagogy. And she, um, we built with her what you would um, class as a, a semester at university in sales, yeah, right? But it's just as interactive as going through through the university because you, you're fully engaging in flipped classroom models and scaffolded learning here, right? You know, so it's very very sophisticated. So it's twice a week, two hours. So usually it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, first thing in the morning or last thing in the afternoon, and uh, it takes you um, it takes you through that learning curve of three months of learning. Yeah? So you can't learn something and become good at it in a week or two weeks or three. Weeks. It doesn't work. Yeah? So okay, we know that. Yeah, so. So how do people find out about this? How, where, where should they go? Um, a thousand steps .com .sg, or you can reach out to me, um, Fraser Morrison. Um, I'm in Singapore, but my LinkedIn profile is in Singapore. Reach out to me on LinkedIn, or you can send me a WhatsApp message on plus six five nine seven eight one eight seven four one. Can you tell us that number again? Plus six five nine seven eight one eight seven four one. Awesome. Well, great. Thanks for taking yeah, the yeah. time. Tell us uh, about how you help entrepreneurs and startup founders, Fraser. So it's been great to meet you, and thanks for coming on to Monday Motivation. So here I am, yeah. the two of us. Yeah. Uh, uh, another, uh, what do you call it, guerrilla uh, video interview from yeah. somewhere secret in Edinburgh. So thanks for <laughs> watching. Brilliant, eh? Huh? Really good. Yeah.